<clears throat> my client added some dormers, uh, added some, he uh, showed me the window schedule and I saw that there were two windows added for the dormer. And so that means we had to put some dormers on here, which I was gonna recommend anyway, uh, but he sort of, we think alike. But then I said, look, you know, this two windows would look much better than one window in the dormers. So I used design options to show that and present that to him, the one window option and the two window option. And Revit has a nice feature called design options which allows me to switch to this option or to this option without really destroying anything. So if I were working in AutoCAD, I would uh, you know, have to freeze layers or uh, walls and move them and change them and put new windows in. But in um, Revit, you know, we just use design options. So let's take a look over here at uh, what you're looking at right now is I have an ultra wide. Uh, I've talked about that before, not sponsored by these guys, but S C E P T R E. But I've seen their prices uh, between four and five hundred dollars, and they're really great for working on Revit. Not so good for presenting. So I'm going to switch, of course, my screen so that we can see my uh, Revit work. Uh, this, this displays it much better. But for working, it looks ultra wide, a uh, little bit less than four feet wide, maybe 18 inches tall. I mean, it really works great. I highly recommend it. For that price, <laughs> I can't complain. But anyway, they don't sponsor me. I just use them and I mention them once in a while when I hear that screen. So anyway, here we go. Look at this. I've got two, I've got the two dormers. And I've got a single window in there. And uh, if I want to go to a different set, I can say, uh, show my doubles. And there's my double. Now, as you saw, when I rendered them, or I suspect when I print them, uh, it's not faded um, or grayed out like that. The renders, renderings didn't come grayed out like that. So I think the printing will be the same too. So how do I do that? Well, we go to the main menu. and if I want to add something to a uh, uh, option set, well, I simply just click on them. Now, I have added these walls already uh, because you, because the window is embedded or hosted by the walls. So you have to, so in this case, I had to add the walls as well. I didn't have to add the roofs, but if we decide to make these dormers a little bit wider and he wants to see those options, you know, then I might, I might uh, add the roofs and then change them for that. But anyway, I add, so you click on, I'll click on the roof just to show you that. And we have this little button down here that says add to set. Okay. So now I, I, these are my sets that I've already made. I would add them to everything um, actually. Um, but if I want to edit my uh, option sets to start out to begin with, you know, we simply come down here and say new and that gives me options. So I've got a couple here. I can delete those uh, and keep my main ones. But anyway, let's say new. And then um, I have a set made now. And so I can close that. And I could say, I'll go back to the main model here and I could pick something, let's say this guy. And I could say, add to the set and I can add it to that. Now, uh, that gives me my option sets, um, but I want to go to uh, my double window option here. Okay, I'm going to edit the selected and say close. And now, see, I can. And what I did was I just put in a double window here. I deleted the single windows and I put in a double window here for that. So now, when when we go over to the, I that here. I can go back to the main model. That's what it looks like. Uh, I can go back to my option here now, which is the double window. And you see that I did add that roof to that uh, option as I was demonstrating it. But the, the value here is that, you know, we don't have to save this drawing as one version and then go change it on another drawing or copy of that drawing. I mean, just go to the options. So it's, it's very simple. You have to select the hosted objects 
or the objects that represent a host in the event that you have windows or doors or something like that. Um, and then you can simply change that. So now you can see how easy it is to go back. I have my uh, single, which is my primary, uh, and I have my double, which is, and so yeah, how easy it is to change that. So that's option set. It's probably for me anyway, the most complicated uh, uh, feature that I've used uh, on uh, Revit. But if you just recognize that you have to make here, you have to make in your design options, you have to make a, a new one. We'll finish editing, make a new one and a um, new one or whatever, call it whatever you want, and then pick the pieces that you want to be part of that option set and simply, so here we go, add to the option set. I'm gonna add, whoops, I don't know what happened there. I must have picked the wrong thing. Something happened on the screen. Now, which object do I wanna, which object set do I wanna add that to? Well, I'll put it into my double and say, okay, well, let's see what happens now. Uh, when I say double, yep, that added that to that. So now I can modify that in this option. And if I go back to my original, it won't uh, change in any way. And I hope that uh, helped.